This is Tina helping you learn CBSE class at MAP NCRT service and my sister Tanya is helping you learn CBSE class 10 math NCRT syllabus. Now let's get into the video. So guys, today we are going to learn what is commutative property. First of all, you guys might ask why did I write A plus B is equal to B plus A. So this is the property that we have to learn in commutative property. So first of all, let me explain you what is this. So instead of A, I am taking 2 and instead of B, I am taking 4. Okay. So I can write 2 plus 4 as 4 plus 2. So if we write like this, the answer is not going to change. So let's add and check. 2 plus 4 is 6 and 4 plus 2 is also 6. So if we change the places, it's not the answer is not changing in addition. So which means in addition, commutative property is there. Once more I am saying you, in commutative property, if we have A plus B, we can write it as B plus A. But it's not only uh, there in addition, it's also there in multiplication too. But in division and subtraction, commutative property is not there. So let me show you why it's not there in subtraction. So A minus B is equal to B minus A. So now I have written equal to. Let me show you. So here also I am taking 2 minus 4. So 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and 4 minus 2 is 2. So here why did I get the minus symbol? Because here you guys can see the greatest number is 4 and 4 is having the subtraction symbol. That's why I wrote minus 2 which means we are not getting the same answer. Here we got minus 2 and here we got 2. So in commutative property, subtraction is not there. So now let's check in multiplication. So a into b. So if we get a into b, we should write it as b into a. a into b is equal to b into a. So here also I am taking the same number. 2 into 4 is equal to 4 into 2. So 2 into 4 is 8 and 4 into 2 is also 8. So here we got both the answer similar which means commutative property is there in multiplication. So now let's check in division. So A divided by B is equal to B divided by A. Okay. So guys here we can name A as 2. And B is 4, which is equal to 4 divided by 2. So now if we divide 2 divided by 4, we get the answer 2. But we can't divide 4 divided by 2 because, let me show you. So here outside we have to write the small number. So here we are dividing with the small number. So we can divide 2 divided by 4 which we get 2 into 2 is 4. So we got the remainder as 2. Sorry, we got the quotient as 2. But here what to do? We can't write the bigger number outside. So we can't divide it, right? So which means if we can't divide or if we can't, if you are not able to get any answer, it means it's not equal. So in subtraction and division, commutative property is not there. But in addition and multiplication, commutative property is there. So I am saying you guys, in commutative property, we should write A into B as B into A and A plus B as B plus A.
So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts, comment me in the comment section. And please do not forget to like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye!